This is the jacket I'm getting. What do you think? Fire, you're gonna look fantastic in that. But how can you afford it? It's like the cost of seven gel manicures. By picking up extra shifts at my new job. <laughs> you got a job? Doing what? Well, I started working as an assistant at my mom's chiropractor's office. And if I'm lucky, I may also start working at Pete's Sports Bar and Grill as a hostess on the weekends. Why would that make you lucky? Tips. <laughs> Wow, okay, I'm happy you got a job and tips that you can buy all the net -a -a jackets you want, but what about all of our plans? <laughs> what plans? This is our junior here in high school. We're finally upperclassmen. We can finally drive. What's your point? On your free time. Wouldn't you rather go where the wind takes us, hang out with all of our friends, go to parties, go to the movies, and not watch the movie because you can't help but stare off into Tyler Martinez's eyes? Yeah. I get that you want to do all that, but I have my future to think about. I have to be ready the minute I turn 18 to leave this town in my rear view. Great, so because of your ambition, I'm left without my best friend for the last two years of my high school experience. Lex, we won't get this time back. Why are you rushing to have responsibility? Look, I don't expect you to understand. You have everything you could possibly want because your parents buy it for you. Wow, that is not true. I've yet to get a pony. You just don't get it. Is that Rocky? Rocky? I thought I'd try out a new nickname. It didn't work, did it? Rocky is a nickname for Raquel. I'm Rochelle. Rochelle. Well, are you a shell station because- No, I'm just not. With the nicknames and bad pickup lines and for the future, no name games either. Got it. It wasn't really my thing anyways. I just get nervous around you. Really? <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, um, I had a question. Do you and your friend Lex want to come to the mall with me and Garrett? Yes. This Saturday? I'll talk to Lex, but yes, we would love to come. Great, I'll pick you guys up at one. Mr. Shell. You're late. Sorry. I'm gonna have to give you a mark. If it happens three times, that's detention. Yes, sir. Lex. Psst. Lex. I swear, if you throw that binder at me, I will literally flip a table. Finally, I've been trying to get your attention. And I've been ignoring you. I know you're upset at me, but I have the best surprise that will make you really happy and you'll forget all about being mad at me. Taylor Swift concert tickets? Okay, maybe I built that up too much. I got a stage for Saturday. With who? Garrett. Really? Garrett asked me out? Well, Tyler did, but for Garrett. Anyway, Saturday at one, they're picking us up and we're all going to the mall. Oh. I can't. I have my interview at Pete's. Sports Bar and Grill. Yeah. Reschedule. What? I can't do that. Oh well. Tell them I'll come next time. Well, what am I supposed to do? If you don't come, I'll just be a third wheel with them. It throws off the whole dynamic. Tyler wouldn't ignore you like that. He likes you. A lot. But it doesn't matter. I'll be a third wheel and you know it. I guess I'll cancel. Hey, Rochelle, I'll go. Really? Yeah, I'll keep Garrett company so that you and Tyler can hang. That'd be amazing. You don't mind, right, Lex? Nope, not at all. So come over to my place at like 12 and we can get ready together. Or no, do you just want to spend the night on Friday? Sure. Hey girl, hey! Hey. What's your problem? Mia likes Garrett, and now you're all going to the mall together, and Garrett's gonna fall in love with her and forget all about me. I thought this is what you wanted. You're the one who wanted two jobs so you could leave us all in the dust after graduation. So what are you complaining about? Nothing, I guess. I just... Want your cake and eat it too? I've never understood that saying. Why wouldn't I eat my cake? Who gets cake and doesn't eat it? It just means you want everything and aren't willing to compromise. And sometimes you can't have both. 
then it should be, you want your cake and ice cream. That makes more sense because cake and ice cream can be a little much. Gosh, I can't wait until I grow up. When I'm an adult, I'll get to do whatever I want, whenever I want. Adults get cake and ice cream all the time. Right. <sighs> I don't know what I'm even upset about. Someday soon, I'll be living in a big city and there'll be plenty of garrets. Not if you're working all the time. I'll be rich. Which entails a lot of responsibility and work. Yes, I have nice things and my parents provide for me, but they work really hard. Sometimes that means they don't have time for the little things. Like what? Like taking a drive up to the lake. Your mom may not have a lot of money and I know you want more for yourself, but she takes you camping every summer. For two whole weeks, you get her undivided attention and you get to have experiences with her. I would bend over backward for that kind of time with my parents. I do have a lot of fun on those trips. See, working isn't everything. You keep pressing fast forward, but the joke is there isn't a rewind button. We're all gonna have jobs one day. I just don't see why you need to now. Hey, Michelle, Lex, Mia. Do you guys wanna go see a movie after school today? My dad gave me all these gift cards to the theater. Sure, have you seen the new Spider-Man? I can't, maybe another time. Oh, okay, Rochelle? I'm in. Great, see ya. What is it this time? The chiropractor's office. I have to be there from four to 8.30. Make that money. I'll see you later. I have geometry with Mr. Ferguson. Ooh. <laughs> Spider-Man was so good. I think I'll go see it like three more times. It's a wonder how much of the movie you can actually watch when boys aren't with you. Like, I was actually able to concentrate on the film and I have to say, I have a whole new level of appreciation for cinema. That's great. What about you? How was work? Long. I was on the phone with a client's insurance company trying to figure out what kind of coverage they had oh. and then one of the... Haha. <laughs> Very mature. <laughs> no, you're very mature. Talking about insurance companies and... Dude, we should go see the Spider-Man movie today after school. I... Don't you dare say it. I picked up a shift. But you already got your jacket, which I will want to borrow. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so why the extra shift? You need a day off to be a teenager. These are the best days of our lives. Please don't get after school special on me. I think if I pick up enough shifts and make a good impression, then I can get a great referral letter when I apply to work at the hospital. What hospital? You know I want to be a nurse or doctor or something in the medical field. So I thought this job could lead to a job working in a hospital and then I could work with people who do what I want to do. Okay, but don't you think your plate's already full? Here we go with the food metaphors again. Uh, I want to work, Rochelle. Just doesn't seem like you enjoy it. Trust me, fine. Hey, Rochelle. Hi, Lex. Hi, Garrett. So, how was Spider-Man? I can't wait to see it. Oh, <laughs> I didn't go. I had work. But she would love to go see it, wouldn't you, Lex? Totally. I just need to check my schedule. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what schedule? We're 15. This, these are the last years of our lives where we don't have to worry about schedules. Why do that to yourself? I mean my work schedule. I have two jobs. <laughs> are you dropping out? What? <laughs> no, I'm just working. You like my new jacket? I bought it myself. Fire. Well, just let me know when you can pinch in a movie. She can go tomorrow after school. What? <laughs> Shell. She gets to call you Shell? In all fairness, you didn't call me Shell. You asked for the Shell station. Oh, yeah. So, Garrett, Lex will meet you tomorrow after school to go see the Spider-Man movie. Lex, walk with me. What are you doing? I can't go tomorrow. I have work. work. We know. But when do you have a day off, Lex? When do you have time for your friends? I see you here Monday through Friday. That's not what I mean, and you know it. Seriously, Lex, this isn't cool. You're 15, not 25. Stop lecturing me. You know what? I'm done trying to talk sense into you. You hate it here so much that you can't wait to get out. You haven't even tried to hang out with me once outside of school. How do you think that makes me feel? Rochelle, forget I it. The Civil War began when Confederates bombarded the Union soldiers at Fort Sumter, South Carolina, 
That was April 12th, 1861. It ended when Robert E. Lee surrendered the last major Confederate army to Ulysses S. Grant at Appomattox Courthouse on April 9th, 1865. Lex. Lex Harrington. I'm listening. Oh, great. So then you can tell me when World War II began. Of course. Uh, I've been listening. 1945? <clears throat> That's when it ended, and we're not doing World War II. We're doing the Civil War. Stay awake in my class, or stay awake in detention. Yes, sir. Excuse me? Yes, Mr. Cruz. Thank you. All right, I got your tests back. Shell, not your best. But I have work after school. You will be here. School is a priority. Yes, sir. Excuse me? Yes, Mr. Cruz. Ms. Harrington? Ms. Harrington? Present. <laughs> you feel okay? Mm hmm You know what this is? Um, an isosceles? No. You know what this is? Um, actually, that's an isosceles. Why? Because that's two equal sides. Pretty good, very good, very good. Anybody else wants to join the class and participate? Any other questions? Is this gonna be on the test tomorrow? Yes, thank you for asking. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey. Mom? Nice of you to join us, Lex. Please have a seat. So what's this all about? I'm afraid Lex has been falling behind in her classwork. She's been falling asleep in class, and she got a D minus on our last test. Lex, this is so unlike you. You've always been an A student. What's going on? Is there maybe something going on at home? No. She just got a job, and I see. Lex, I think you're working too many shifts and have too many jobs for someone your age. No, I don't. I mean. School doesn't mean anything. If I work, I get to buy all the clothes I want and gain experience to advance in the real world. This isn't the real world. This is high school. Will you give us a sec? Sure, take your time. Honey, I know you have dreams and goals that you want to achieve, and there is no doubt in my mind that you will. But right now, school needs to be your priority. And being a teenager should be fun, not stressful. You can't fall behind in your schoolwork like this. You won't get a good job after if you fail high school. Mom. Like, sweetie, I was so proud of you for wanting to get a job that I forgot to make sure you were still getting to be a kid. I, I mean, teenager. You should be enjoying time with your friends and focusing on your schoolwork. You have to quit your jobs. No, I like working. <sighs> okay, but I will only allow you to work three days a week on the school days and you can't work on the weekends. Deal? Deal. Now, go out there and be a kid. I, I mean teenager, <laughs> and enjoy the rest of your day. You can't get this time back and I'd hate to see you let it pass you by. You're right. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Now get out of here! Let's 
So, would you mind seeing Spider-Man one more time? Cap. Seriously? Oh my god, you mean I get my best friend back? Yes, and I get my life back. You're gonna love the new Spider-Man movie. And after, we can go get Froyo at this new spot. They have the cutest places to take pictures. Then we can cruise the mall and go look for some new makeup. I've been dying to find a new lip gloss that complements my complexion. Okay. <laughs> Never be in such a rush to grow up that you miss out on what's in front of you. Being a teenager is hard sometimes, but it's a part of our lives that we will never get back. We have to enjoy this time while it's here. What are some ways you can enjoy this time in your life more? Let us know in the comments. See you guys next time.